All right, so yo, Gil, yeah, you put me on to the Joyner Lucas thing. You want to talk about it? I know uh, we kind of yeah, touched so, up a little bit on it. I but. mean, I don't know the story behind it in regards to like why he did it. Um, it just looks like he was trying to pay respect to someone who uh, had an impact in his career and his life, you know, and it was to Will Smith. So the video is basically kind of going through all Will Smith's bodies of work and he's using it a part of his life and story and what he's saying. Um, but he's using the titles of all the Will Smith's bodies of work, like Fresh Prince, you know, uh, you know, MIB, you know, all the movies, Wild Wild West, you name it, uh, Bad Boys. And he kind of just, you know, goes through them. And he's dressed up like him. He looks like him. It's, it's visually stunning video. Mm. Um, not my cup of tea in regards to content and stuff like that. As you guys know, you know, the type of platform this is. But creatively, you know, it was pretty dope. And he actually got a response from Will Smith. Will Smith did a video responding to the video. Uh, showing um, mad love and he was humbled and you know it was pretty dope it was kind of cool seeing that unfold um, but I was mostly and your brother was in the video yeah I think my brother was in the video because he said he was there but I don't know if he was actually in the video or just there oh so these are the you know. oh, well I know your brother knows Joyner yeah, yeah we can we can say that right <laughs> I guess that's not, I guess a, secret, not a secret right? <laughs> is that a secret I don't see it as a secret no if Did I do something wrong? My is bad. that uncomfortable? Is this, <laughs> I don't know. Is, uh, can I say they're friends? Or? It's like a humble brag, I guess. But it's not nah, really. I mean, it's just they. I mean, he's from our city. Like it, he, we can see him at Walmart sometimes. We do see him at Walmart. It's facts. Sometimes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like the dude is not like. He's just oh chilling. my goodness, this joiner! Like he's from the city. Yeah, and he's rightfully so acts that way. You know, you yeah. can see him everywhere. Right. He's not like in a palace. So, what do you personally think about the video? Uh, I think it was a dope concept in regards to like how they initially did it. It's for me, you know, honestly, it's a little weird because it's like a random thing, just sh- sh- kind of like a uh, you know, ho- random <laughs> in, in the middle of a crisis. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> you just randomly yeah, like, yo, Will, you you did Will so Smith. much for me. Nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? I just want to show props. Nah. Uh, I'm gonna go get tested. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, so it's just weird. But but yo, maybe maybe but it's, the video. Is yo, fire. maybe it's his one in first. Like his last shot to be like, I don't. It, it just yo. seems like his team had this plan to release, and it all went to craziness with the COVID nineteen, and they were like, "Crap, we still don't have, have time. a schedule. <laughs> we don't have, we still we, got a schedule. You know what? Just throw it. Just throw it, it out there. Just throw it out there because it's just so random. Like you, it's not something you would ex- ever expect. You wake up to like eleven, a hundred new uh, possible cases, and Jordan, Jordan Lucas, Lucas does a video does for Will Smith. <laughs> And you're like, like what oh, in the world is happening? All right. Here? What kind of if twilight anything, I thought he would have live in. Yeah, I thought he would have probably did something about COVID nineteen, like maybe not a track about it because everybody's doing. Do you it, think that's why they some did some controversial it? Do you think, thing? Do you think like, that that's why they did it? Like they they said, oh, let's every, throw him a curveball. Every, yeah, everyone's yeah, down and possible. depressed, and like, because let's I mean, throw this out. He's there. so known for for stirring up. Maybe they were like, you know what? Let's go a different route this time. Let's make it fun. Like it's it's an obvious move. Let's pay homage if you do something controversial and maybe blame the government or something mm. crazy like that. So let's throw them a complete one eighty and see how they respond. Okay, so and so far let's the response uncover, have been let's, crazy. Let's uncover this and unfold. Let's this uncover carefully and cautiously because it's relevant and <laughs> and literally the and only thing we have to talk about. <laughs> Yo, real talk. All right, so if we just want to like just say what it is, yeah. Uh, Jonah Lucas did a track. Paying homage yep. to his idol, yep. Will Smith, yep. to get his attention. Yeah. He got it. Yeah. Will Smith shit it. Mm-hmm. Mission accomplished. He did it creatively, the way Jonah Lucas is. Yeah. Very creative. Uh, he used similar strategies. Green screen, mm-hmm. jumping around from shot to shot. We've seen yep. that. Like a one-shot tape yep. type thing. We've seen the similar strategies. Yep. Obviously, fire. The CGI is there crazy. You go. Obviously, CGI fire, fire, crazy. CGI, and effects. Obviously, it's a real good video. Like, Production wise, it's a real good video. Yeah. Would you recommend this kind of uh, concept? The entire thing, like a song Would I, what? to my aunt, to my icon to pay. Would I do the same thing to, to a Christian creative? Let me just unfold my question. So, See, would no, you? I wouldn't because my motives are different. Okay, explain that to me. So, like, I wouldn't do that because our goal and our motives are different. You know, we want to point to one man and it wouldn't be an artist it would be to god to okay. christ 
Uh-huh. So for us to pay full what homage if- <laughs> and say, I want to do a track solely about this guy, if- <laughs> you know, and it's all about him not pointing to anything other than him. Gil chopped down his beard. What up? What up, go yeah. you? Dude, man, that means you haven't come on the show for a while because this has been short for Uh-oh, grip. Oh, you got caught. You just got caught. You just told on yourself. Yeah. Go ye. Go ye. Go, go ye before the nation. <laughs> And watch the previous Go episodes before the nations and proclaim my name. <laughs> Go ye! I chopped this a while ago. Choppeth downeth your beardeth. <laughs> downeth your beardeth. There's the name of the show. All right. Choppeth. They almost wanted me to choppeth downeth my beardeth because my my. Well, there's got to be my, COVID my, in there uh, somewhere. What do you call it? The ni- oh yeah. It was like everything was protected, but the bottom part of my it was beard. Like, yo, the, it's the COVID it was legit, is hanging off. It your was beard. legit like that. Yeah, Can you I know. See that? So Hold right on. now you Hold got on. you got COVID on the whiskers. Are you gonna go right to the camera? Yep, that's happening. Oh, they can see. Uh, yep, right there. Yeah, yeah, that's about. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's what you did. You put your face right on the camera. COVID nineteen is now on your lens. It was something similar to that, where my mask was on, and then yeah. like that bush was just coming out the bottom. Mario like, thought like, COVID nineteen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I was- <laughs> It's like, yo, I, got that I was lens. wondering why they were looking at me all weird. They were like, why is this dude even wearing that mask? Like, he's <laughs> that thing is just creeping underneath the mask. Like, why? Here, yeah. got him. <laughs> like, it's just a hand comes through. Got Does him. Does he have a cat in his mask? <laughs> <Did you> see- <laughs> Sorry, my cat. You see a tail? Come my cat out? doesn't have a sitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a cat mask. Uh, it's a- <laughs> Stupid. Stupid! Why don't we have the? Did you say gas mask? No, no I the, said the cat gas mask. mask. Yeah, we're better off with a gas mask. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, so where do we go with this? Jonah Lucas, man, what were we yeah, doing? Yeah, so I mean, it was super creative. No, uh, no, 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 was your mo- he was okay, giving respect you to his people. You, you know, for me, I, I wouldn't praise any man as that much. You know what I'm saying? Because it would feel weird to me because my motive is to proclaim Christ. But as a secular artist, so, yeah, that's perfectly fine. They do that all the time. They talk about who their idols are. They talk about yeah. who they're, you know, sometimes they say, they even use the word God. Like, yo, that's my God, you know? Mm. So it's common for this type of stuff. And no shade against Joyner. If that's his idol, that's his idol. If that's his, you know, who he looks yo, to, it ain't no sh- it, that's on him. I want to know, like, for the Christian perspective, like, how it would be. I think that would be very weird. Yeah. To, so to let's say an let's say you song. like yo. yo. I'm gonna even put it to the reformers. Like I think it's weird when we you know, idolize John do a whole song, <laughs> a whole song about John Calvin yeah. and the catechisms yeah. and all. And I'm like, I Ooh, get it. He was I, very theological, the stones, brother. But these are men. Like you know what I'm saying. Like mm. I would be careful because mm. it could come across. And it. I've heard this Gems right by here, many bro. people. Gems. I've heard a lot of people who don't understand Calvinism. And tell me, oh, you guys worship that dude Calvin. Why would they think that? Yeah. Because all we do is talk about Calvin. Like, wow, oh, I've... Calvin this, Calvin that. Oh, the Calvinism. And oh, guess what I am? I'm Calvinism. Yo, to be honest, I haven't heard anything Calvinism lately. Lately, no. But you, I'm you saying, like, that? when I first started, like, in Reformed Theology, and yeah, I used it was to everywhere. heavily be like, I am a Calvinist. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a badge. It was like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I worked hard for this. I work hard for the money. <laughs> I worked hard for it. Oh, really? You worked hard for it, huh? That's, that's but the that's concept, how it was. It? You Ain't know what I mean? Concept? Like, I read books. I can say proudly I am a Calvin. So now, not to downplay reading books. No, not at all. Okay. What, what I'm saying is like, you can kind of get too caught up and I can understand why people was looking at me like, oh, you guys worship that dude. Because it gets to a point where we quote these men so much that people start forgetting that we are still pointing to Christ, but we kind of got so caught up in our studies and research and all this stuff. And although those, all these great men have great things to offer yeah. and they, man, they can preach like nobody's business, but I can understand that. I can understand how they look at us. Undeserved like grace says a lot of people are trying to transition to saying reformed for this exact reason. To saying reformed? Yes, yeah, like- saying reforms rather than Calvinist. Yeah, because it sounds kind of like worshipy. Mm. You know, like why? It, why is it? Named, I've even heard reformers after- say that they know about Calvin's life so much that they know for a fact that if they said we're naming this Calvinism, he would have neg- he would have not 
been cool with that. Yeah, he would. He would have been like, no. Why are you naming it after me? Yeah. These are things that are in the Bible. Mm-hmm. It should be something rooted. Why can't we from just? Why can't we just label it? Biblical theology and heresy. Why can't, why can't we just stop right there? Why do, because why do we have to be go any further than that? Everything. Biblical truth and heresy. Because Done. everything's End of discussion. gotta have a name, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, just I leave lo- it at that, bro. I, I love the pursuit of knowledge, but sometimes it can become too much when you just walk in a room and you're like, man, this dude loves King James. Oh, that's King Javanisanism. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, dude, is it gotta be an ism for everything, man? That's King James if it's ism. Was that I'm one like, of those? There's always <laughs> some kind of ism, man. I'm yeah. like, why you gotta have a name for it? Like the dude just likes King James. <laughs> Leave it at that. He's the guy that likes King James. Well, if he likes King James, that's, that's King it. James and ism. <laughs> All right, bro. We'll name yeah. it. We'll call it that. Yeah, or caffeine or whatever. He starts getting ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> man. I, man, I need a coffee. Oh, be careful. Yeah. That's caffeinitism. <laughs> All right. Caffeinism. <laughs> All right, bro. All right. Some people say that the reason why they have to define those things is because some things are very tricky with the truth and kind of like, you know, twist and distort. So you got it. You got it. But there's a lot, there's a whole lot of isms that I'm sure don't have an explanation. Well, I think a lot of isms at some point, because you know, whenever we want to do good, sin is not too far behind. So I think at (laughs) some point we lost our way and started going over the top and we knew a lot more isms than the other guy. Mm. (laughs) Yeah. And that's my that's and what I you mean. Know what like, it was times where I felt dumb. I know way like, more isms than like, him. Oh, you don't know about river my topical topical theology, theology is is superb because of my made up names. Because <laughs> of my made up traditional Yo, names. Yo, but sometimes, man, like oh, I, I, I don't read as much books as like some of these people, and then they'll be like, "Oh, you don't know about rubber double dism? Rubber double dism? And I'm like, what is "No, that? I don't know Can about rubber double dism. Is that like is a, that is that, is that the, like the, the plastic stu- duck the study, that comes in the bath with the you? The study like- of showering in holy water. <laughs> rubber double dism. You don't know that? He's like, yes, the, that is the art form <laughs> that of is- baptizing and showering <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> The rubber. So dub-a-dism. when you get di- baptized, boom! You that's, the, that's the rubbing of the oil. Rubber they, they just named it the rubber dubbedism. <laughs> I'm just saying like, the oil. it can get ridiculous, but I feel like every time I walk in a the room, there's a new ism. I don't know how we got off track so far from wait, wait, motive wait, of wait. Joyner Lucas. <laughs> In the Christian rapper. <laughs> well, we was talking about how yeah. it relates to Christianity it's be one and of them how days well, I know today. how we got there. Okay, you can bring it back. Yeah, because we was talking this about rem- this. Reminds me of a Key and Peele. Okay, now you're making me lose it again. Hold up, this reminds me of Key and Peele's skit where they parked their car, right? Yeah. And then he goes, uh, the guy goes, uh, "Okay, K nine, uh, K nine dog, got it." And then the other guy goes, no, canine, uh, canine dog that gets walked by Kevin, who has a son who's nine years old. And they and he does the complete, yo, he goes off. His on whole a, backstory. He goes off on, until they get to the elevator. They, they didn't even leave the garage yet. They get to the elevator in the garage, right? And he goes, oh, shoot, I forgot my phone. <laughs> so then now he's trying to remember. He's trying to. Canine to walk with the dog, with the little yo, boy. No, no, Jeff no, 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 no. Stop, stop. So he's trying to remember, <laughs> but his boy who came up with the ridiculous concept is going backwards. Hold on. I got it. Uh, and as he's going backwards and unfolding everything he just said to come to K9, this dude completely forgot. So he's trying to get it before he does. <laughs> and the dude ends up getting it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> That was a shameless plug for Key and Peele, I guess. I love it, man. No, nah, them dudes, man. The dudes, you can, yo, Go Ye yo. literally wrote Rubber Dubba Dism. Oh my goodness, dude. Maybe that's the name of the t- of the show. Rubber Dubba Dism. Yeah. Yeah. Or, 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 wait, is it Rubber Dubba Dism or Choppeth Downeth Beareth? <laughs> Which one? I think Rubber Dubba Dism Rubber is Dubba-dism shorter is, and it's can you, easier. Can you put that in there for me? <laughs> Can you put that in there? Can you there? put that in the You guys just saw how we just edit and there you just go. talk live. You know. Anyway, I'm do. sorry I went off on that whole tangent. I had to let that unfold. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> I, I get inspired but from their But I can bring it back. You were talking about how Christians, I mean, uh, how the difference, or well, the comparison of Christians doing the same thing as what Joyner did. And I said it would be weird because Christians wouldn't talk about themselves. Do you think it's okay well, to pay? Not themselves. Do you think it's okay to pay ho- like uh, homage though? For is that how you say it? Homage. homage? Is it is it is it homage or is homage. the H silent? Homage. It is it be. homage? No, it's homage. Or homage. Homage. All right. H with it's a hard. H. Okay. Thank you. 
I don't know what's happening with my brain today, but uh, <laughs> you got COVID. I will. I won't unfold and complain about my life. So God is good. Uh, yo, we're committed to this podcast, by the way. Let mm -hmm. me let me just say that firmly. We're committed to this podcast, by Thanks. the way. I'll say that yeah. for real. Okay, my bad. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> that was weird. So, homage. <laughs> that was very weird. For real. <laughs> With a hard homage, with a yeah. hard okay. So, do you think it's okay for a Christian artist to pay homage mm. to someone they respect? So, let's say you're like, "Yo, I love Go Yee. Mm. I'm gonna write a whole track toward him and just to pay homage to to him." Um, I guess the paying homage part, like you just showing respect, is fine. But I think he used the word idol. Oh, did he really say that? I think he I said. Th I think he said you're you, my idol. You're oh. my idol, and you don't even know it. Yeah, he did say that. Yeah. So, so in a way, so okay, idolatry. Idolize. You're, you're saying the, the idol part of yeah. it. Yeah. He's I. He's I. I mean, he literally said he's my idol. So that's the part that I wouldn't put in there. But if you're giving respect, like, I mean, I don't know. It's do just we have weird, any psalms bro. where people pay homage, like in the Bible? Like, do we have any psalms? Like, I don't know. I don't actually. There's a song about Moses, right? There's a song about. In the Bible? Yeah, man. They made a song about I, Moses I don't freeing know about the people. That song. But it was all, obviously it was all glory to God who, you know, led Moses. So I guess in that aspect, that's how people. But it's not in no way, shape or form is it getting glory to right, Moses. Right. So you can Where still. In this song, he's giving all glory to success, to the things, you know, lessons and. Uh, 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 Do you think example. so? <laughs> well, that's what he's saying in the song that he's like, yo, right. yo, you're my idol. Okay. You know, I am where I am because of the things that I've learned from you. And he ended it with a quote from Song of Solomon from uh, 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 Will Smith Amish. in the song about Will Smith building Amish, my bad. brick by brick <laughs> to ultimately building a wall, may, kind of saying that the wall is your success. Yeah. And each day, just add a brick, add a brick each day. Don't look at the overall, just add a brick every day. And then eventually you'll look up and you have a wall. Like that was a, a a quote that he took and he put in the video too, so he's literally showing I learned how to be successful from listening to you, mm. from following your work, seeing where you came from. Wow, dude, you're like you're, you're like saying? a scientist with this stuff, man. You're I'm like just a, saying he you're like a clinician. It, I don't think he like made it that difficult. You're like a hip hop clinician. Oh wow, like I, I think you would be perfect at like setting up with the couch, you know, and the, I can see Jordan Luke, Lucas laying down and. And opening up to you as you're writing notes and like helping him figure out his life. Really?